do you know that the structure of sun is made up of several layers which is divided into two primary parts and they are the inner layer and the outer layer the inner layer of sun consists of the core the radiative zone and the convection zone and the outer layer of sun includes the photosphere the chromosphere the transition region and the corona now let's have a look at the different layers of the sun corona it is the outermost layer of the sun the temperature of the layer is about 5 lakh degree celsius this layer cannot be seen with the naked eye except during a total solar eclipse with the help of coronagraph telescope next there is a transition region in the structure of sun it is an extremely narrow layer only 60 miles which divides the chromosphere from corona in this transition region temperature raises drastically then we have chromosphere the layer above the photosphere is the chromosphere the literal meaning of the chromosphere is sphere of color temperature in the chromosphere range from 3700 degree celsius to 7700 degree celsius then we have photosphere it is the innermost layer of the outermost layer of the sun this layer visible directly from the earth it is also called the solar surface the temperature varies between 6200 degree celsius to 3700 degree celsius after that we have convection zone the convection zone is the outermost layer of the solar interior at the base of the convection zone the temperature is about 2 million degree celsius in this zone the hot plasma means ionized gas hydrogen and helium from the bottom of the zone bubbles up to the surface of the sun here it loses its heat to the space around it as the plasma cools down it start shrinking again the entire process is called convection after convection zone we have radiative zone this zone is between the core and the convection zone the temperature in the zone range from 2 to 7 million degree celsius the energy created in the core of the sun travels through this region in the form of light or you can say radiation and this light is made up of extremely tiny particles called photons when these photons move through the radiative zone they heat other particles on their way out this makes them change direction and bounce around the photons travel in this manner take a very long time to make it out and that's why energy takes 1 million year to get itself out from the radiative zone and enter the convection zone next core core is the innermost part of the sun inside the core nuclear reaction take place constantly and hydrogen gets converted into helium this reaction release a lot of energy and it start to move outward as light and heat which we receive on earth so we can say that the solar core is the hottest part of the sun with a temperature of 15 million degree celsius so thank you for watching this video if you like this video stay tuned with smb edukon